And the way we kind of mix tracks is we don't, we mix them so they actually don't need mastering. So none of our songs are mastered, like none. So like as in sent off to? Sent off to someone else. You know, everything is, is done in, in, uh, in the door. We can go through that if you want um, for this one, I guess. It is, do you want me to pull up the plugins for? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's see it. I've, I'm pretty sure they want to see, see what, what the hell is going on. So what I meant that it's, it's not being mastered, it's not being mastered by someone else. We try and do everything ourselves so, so we can actually fix the mix easily if something is wrong, if the final track is not working, we can pretty easily render out a new version. This isn't mastered. This isn't mastered. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, it, it varies. It's not always all these kind of plugins on. No. All right, I think I'm, this is too much to keep open at once. So I'm just going to go through them one at a time. If you guys want to see this. Basically, uh, again, this is, this is kind of a, a terrible track to use as a, a breakdown for you guys because it's been through, like, I don't even, like, even want to look at this track anymore. Um, <laughs> There is some compression at the at the beginning, and we will look for the kick and snare being the, the prominent triggers. Right? You can tell how it just like dips down in the kick and snare. Then uh, typically there's some kind of like EQ. Um, I was clearly into psych here at the time. Some kind of boost in the highs. You can just always boost the highs, I feel like. EQ fixing, again, just balancing it. I don't know. Super secret cannot, needs to be cut out of the stream, Ashish. Um, and this uh, Vengeance multiband compressor, if you go into All Master. Yep. I forgot. Yeah. Yep. Oh. The uni squasher the preset uni squasher, is yeah. crazy, but look at it. We're using like four percent. This is like an OTT on steroids. On steroids. Uh, use with caution. Yep. Definitely don't ever put this on your master, like <laughs> we did. <laughs> like we did on this one. Uh, some multiband compression. I'm not sure that's necessary. Also, another, if you want to look into some, some great like tips and tricks, like Luca, Pred I, I can never, Pred 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 yeah. Studio DMI has a bunch of great videos on just anything. Some more exciting, the highs, the mid, like it goes down as uh, you go through the frequency spectrum. What else? The end of it, it's just a clipper, which is in itself a funny little story. Because I never like, really knew about clipping your master until I saw Luca's video on that. Oh. And I was like, no, you're not clipping your master. Stop it. And then I had um, my Fireface. R RME Fireface? RME Fireface 800. And I was like, all right, let's try this. So I took my outputs and I plugged them into my inputs on my interface. And, I, and through the RME inter um, software mixer, I gained stuff so that I was clipping my input converters. And I was amazed to find that you could clip up towards 6 dB and it was still okay. Yeah, without apparent distortion. Yeah. Right. And I was like, "What? why are we using limiters? Screw that. That's true. Just threw them away. Threw Start away, clipping. Yeah. And... And then we went through what, like three years of trying hardware clipping, software clippers. To me, it doesn't really matter. Lucas swears to the, the Lyra. So we have two of those for sale? <laughs> yes, we bought the, the Lyra's. We bought just, the Lyra's because he did it, you know. Just so to try it. Just to try it. And we figured out that 
damn, standard clip works just for us. It was just well. fine. Yeah, this is like a fifty dollar plug in. Oh, hello. That's me. Don't touch your microphone. Mike, don't touch your mic. Yeah. Um, standard clip, great plug in. There's free clip. There's Kaz Rog. There's a just look up clippers and try it, and you will find that six dB is the limit. If you clip beyond. So typically what we do to find the level that we can clip at is, let me just reset this. Um, instead of gaining up into the clipper and sort of like mess up your listening level, you can pull the threshold down and listen for like when you get audible distortion. So check this out. Like, it's obviously too much, but yeah. so, this is okay. It's peaking around like six dBs of clipping. And then, and then once I know the level, I'm like, okay, negative 13.4. I reset this, and I put this at 13.4. Okay. And you get the same clipping. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> no, I don't.